If this is the first time you're using App Inventor, you'll see no projects right now on the My Projects list. I have a couple that are Magic 8-Ball projects. But to begin a new project, you click the button Start New Project. You have to give your project a name, which consists of letters and numbers, no spaces, no funny characters. I'm going to call this one, say, My Name. And I recommend you use capital letters to, um, to start each successive word. When you get into the, the design view of App Inventor, we can see in the center of the screen what the app might look like. Along the left-hand side, we have the palette, which shows the things you can put on your screen. And to the right, we have components and properties. So on my screen, I really just want to have a button. So you drag and drop. And now you can see the components list shows that on screen number one, we have a button whose name is button one. Button one has as its text, text for button one. But you can change that as long as you have the button selected. You can select the button by clicking it here, or you can select the button by clicking it here. But as long as you have the button selected, then you can edit the properties of the button. This is your button, so I want you to change it to make it say anything you want. I'm going to make my button say, say my name. When you click outside this box, the change should take effect. And uh, now, clicking that button doesn't actually say my name, but we'll work on that. You can change the size of the font, you can change the color of the font, you can change the color of the button, you can change all of these properties. And I encourage you to take some time to, to play with that. When you're done changing the properties of your button, we want to make the app say our name. So in order to do that, we're going to need one of these components over here from uh, media. So I was, I was in user interface. I go down here to media and it opens this drawer for media. And there are things that can play videos and sounds and we want to use this text to speech. So you drag it over and drop it on your app. And because text to speech is kind of invisible, uh, we don't see it on the screen, it falls down here to this non-visible components area. But we still see it in the list of components over here to the right. You can change the pitch, you can change the speech rate, um, you can change the country. I don't know, maybe if you change it to, um, to the UK, maybe you'll have British English. Who knows? So let's, let's now wire up these parts so that when we push the Say My Name button, the text to speech will say my name. So there's another component to App Inventor that is it's like sort of the back side. So we want to flip this app over and wire it up. To do that, you use the blocks. The blocks are right over here. This is your Blocks Editor, and you can always switch back between Design View and Blocks View by clicking these two buttons in the top right corner. So in the Blocks View, you want to say when button 1 is clicked. So I, I went to button 1, and that pulls out this drawer of all the things we know and can tell about button 1. We can talk about the, these, these ones are events. So when button one is clicked, when button one is long clicked, when we push down, when we, when we lift our touch. So I just want when button one is clicked, so you drag that out. And then we put in here in the do area, we put the things we want to do when button one is clicked. What we want to do is we want to use some text to speech. So we want to speak a message. So I clicked on text to speech. And then I'm going to drag this text to speech dot speak and put it in there and it clicks together. If these are not fully clicked together, well, it's, it's hard almost to, to, to not do it, but my students are able to, to do it a lot. If these don't click together, they don't count, so they have to have that satisfying click. And you can see there's a hole over here that's like, what message do you want to speak? So we have to plug some text in. Over here under built-in, we can find this block that's, you can kind of tell that it wants words because it has quotes around it. I'm going to say, my name. So now we have a complete block here that says when button one is clicked call the text to speech and tell it to speak my name so how do we make it go we have to actually connect this thing to an Android device so if you have an Android device you can you can go up to this connect menu and say I want to connect to the AI companion and if you have the app inventor companion then well I'll show you what happens if you have an app inventor uh, app installed, you can run the AI companion and scan this QR code on your screen and it'll connect you right up. If you have your uh, USB device plugged in, if you're maybe charging your phone, 
you can say connect to USB, and as long as you have an App Inventor, sorry, as, you, as long as you have an Android device with USB debugging enabled, that's a, a long story, then it'll work. But for me, I don't have my Android device with me, and so I'm just going to choose Emulator. So if you go to Connect and choose Emulator, it's going to start up this Android device that's a simulated Android device on your on your computer. But maybe if you're on a Mac, it's already starting. But if you're on Windows, you have to launch the AI Starter program, which is a little helper. So that installed when you installed App Inventor, and I'm going to go see if I can find it. MIT App Inventor Tools, AI Starter. Now that I've started the AI Starter, you don't really see it. It's, it's, it's hiding down here. We can do Connect to Emulator once more. And this emulator is so realistic that it even has to boot up. Now, I, I, I tell my students that this is the oldest, ugliest, straight-talk phone you'll ever see. And it, it, this is the software that ran on older Android devices. And the reason we're using kind of crummy or older software is because it's faster. So if you're using an older computer, it'll actually still run and be usable. We can definitely install newer emulators, and later in, in the course, you'll be using a, a more modern emulator with modern software development tools. But this, this will get us where we want to be today. Don't touch the emulator. Don't worry about sliding to unlock. Just wait for this countdown to finish. And once it does, then your app should automatically launch by itself. If it doesn't, and believe me, sometimes it doesn't, you can go to Connect, Reset Connections, and Connect Emulator. So you're going to get this whenever the app uh, update happens, and you, you kind of have to do this. So your companion is out of date. Click OK to start the update. And then this little green guy down here is the, is the emulator. And it says it's now being installed, and we have to push Done, and then Connect Reset. So we say OK, Install. Now instead of saying open, here you have to choose done, and then we need to restart. You dismiss this message, you choose connect, reset connection, and then connect to emulator one more time. And it's basically going to boot up once more, and then our app should load. This part waiting on the emulator is where students have the most difficulty. And sometimes I find that students will get distracted and then forget to check back and, and check back on their emulator. So for classroom management, this is a, a time that you'd want to train those students to, 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 to get back in action as soon as their emulator loads. So if you've already forgotten, we are going to have a button that says, say my name. And then when we push the button, we should hear the little computer voice say, my name. There's my button. My name. So I don't know if you were able to hear that on the recording my name but it says my name and we can change that to any name you want um, my name is Daniel Moix I'm not sure if the app inventor knows how to say the word Moix but we'll find out Daniel Moix hey good job got it so you can change the text to be your name or any message you want when you teach your students this um, the, the, the kind of the magic click 
is when they realize, oh, wow, I can make this say anything. Well, that's it. There's Say My Name. Play with that. Be creative. Change the colors of some things. You can change, if I look back in the designer, you can change the properties of the screen. If I want my screen background, I just choose screen, screen one, and then background color. I can make that color any color I want. And the neat thing about App Inventor, as soon as you make that change, over here in your emulator, that change is current. It's automatic. You don't have to restart. You don't have to reboot. Usually, you don't have to reconnect. When you get a more complicated app, it, it gets, it gets kind of hairy. But for now, you're good to go. There's your Say My Name app. Good luck with it.